Hey guys, good morning. It's Friday today. Oh, look who's already awake. So when I head to the office, I usually start my day with taking a shower and then I'll go and feed the cat. Since it's a Friday, I can wear casual clothes today, so my usual pick is a hoodie and jeans as my go-to for a casual Friday. Someone's in a hurry to get their breakfast. I usually don't have breakfast myself in the morning. I usually just have a coffee to wake me up properly, but I'll grab a coffee at work instead. I always have to supervise these two because Ryo, the ginger on the right, he will always steal the food of Riku, the cat on the left. It's nice to see the sun, because during winter, it's still dark now. Bye bye Riku! Just so you know, for this scene, I actually had to go back and get my camera and then lock the door. So I live about 7 minutes away from the train station and the good thing is the station has free parking when you take the train to work or wherever. So it looks like it's going to be a sunny day today which is good. Because the last day in the live video I did it was actually raining that day and it was really cloudy so it didn't look the best but I think today will be better. So if you notice carefully, my ticket said single trip. That's because I actually lost my Opal card and I had to quickly go buy a new or oh, buy a single way ticket to get to work. So the train's quite empty today, but this train I usually take in the morning is usually quite empty, but I take two trains actually. So I swap onto another train in two stops and that one will take me to the city and that train is usually pretty packed. So no matter how many times I take the train I still love the view. So this is the second train that I take to get to the city. So we've just arrived at Central Station and this is the view. Oh, we're at Town Hall now. Time to get off and head to the office. I actually left a little earlier today so I could show you guys a little bit more of the Sydney CBD. Don't forget to tap off. So my office is actually located in Town Hall area. And that in right in the front is Town Hall. And that's the Queen Victoria building right there. And then that's the galleries. And this is George Street. And those red trams, or light rail we call them here, they can take you all around the city and to the outer suburbs as well. That's my favorite place, KFC. This is my outfit for the day. Looks like a couple of people are already in the office today. 
I like to bring a lot of my own equipment. I use a gaming mouse, I have a gaming mouse pad as you can see, and I bring a charger to charge my phone as well. So free coffee is the best coffee. So I like to drink a flat white in case you guys were wondering. So now that I have a bit of coffee, I can start my day. So as a civil drafter, I'm in charge of creating drawings for engineering projects. I'm currently having a look at some vehicle swept paths and just making sure that they look correct before I put them onto a drawing and send it off to engineers for approval. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more about the actual tasks that I do day to day. I show more of the work that I do but they're all confidential so it's a bit hard to show. So it's lunchtime now and I'm heading to my favourite fast food place, KFC. I'm going with a colleague but we're going to go meet back up in the office in the break room with the rest of the team. So my go-to when I go to KFC is usually a Zinger box, but I just saw that they had a hot rod box, so I'm going to give that a try instead. So this is what it looks like. So it usually comes with potato and gravy, but I prefer to just get gravy. It comes with the hot rod. some small chips and the Zinger burger and for a drink I got water trying to be healthy <laughs> so all my colleagues are actually sitting next to me and like it looks pretty funny I'm just like facing the camera eating so my manager just came in front of me <laughs> and he's sitting right in front of me now. <laughs> it still tastes pretty good the KFC, so I don't care. <laughs> so this is the view outside my office. It looks pretty good. I did a time lapse. So back to work now. And then hopefully the day goes really fast. Yay, it's home time now. So just quickly pack up and then back to the station. So heading home now. So I didn't film this part, but I actually went to get a new Opal card because like I said in the morning, I actually lost mine. Oh, yeah. So one of the benefits of working in the city and taking the train is that you can see this view at Circular Quay. It looks so good. Friday afternoon vibes. So we're finally heading to the last station on my trip. So I was actually really lucky today, I managed to park really close to the entrance of the station. Usually, I'm not this lucky. So for dinner today, I am going to be trying to make Spam Musubi. The missus has requested it and this will be the first time making it. So I finally arrived home and I wonder if I can see the cats waiting at the window for me. Nope, so sad.
There you boys are. Hello boys. Come on, come say hello. 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 Hello Riku. He's so soft and fluffy. Ugh, I love petting him. So I'll just quickly feed the boys their dinner, and then I'll be making my dinner. So we start a bit of soy sauce in the mix and then we add a bit of mirin and some white sugar or just sugar for the mix. So next we'll cut up a few slices of Spam and then we'll pan fry it. So don't judge too harshly but it was really hard to get the Spam out of that can. You'll see this in a few seconds. So looking back editing this, I must have been so out of it when I cut this span. So next step is to fry the spam. I'm just adding a bit of olive oil and heating up the pan. So adding in the spam now. So now the Spam is fairly golden brown on the other side, just gonna flip it over and then add the seasoning or the mix that I prepared earlier. So the mix or seasoning I'm adding is like actually quite sweet. So this dish might not be for everyone if you're not into sweetness and prefer more savory flavors. So now that the spam is cooked, I'm going to be preparing the rice and then shaping it together. So I saw this on a TikTok or a short that to make the shape of it, you use the actual Spam can. So I'm just following this. And I gotta admit, it's working pretty well actually for shape wise. So I didn't have full seaweed rolls. So if you remember in my last video, this is the actual seaweed from that snack I used. It looks pretty good to me. So let's try it. I think Rio wants to try it as well. It tastes pretty good actually. So not bad for the first time making it. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.